If you're in the South Sound of Washington right now and you're seeing the real estate prices and you're also seeing that it's about to be the holidays and you're wondering if the real estate market's gonna go in the crapper, this video is gonna be for you. So last month I made a prediction, a pretty big prediction that all of the numbers, not the price, okay, the numbers, so the new listings, the actives, the pennings, and the solds, that they would go down substantially. And I'm gonna show you that that happened, but we don't wanna confuse that with the price. The price is still going up. First, I wanna explain something to you. Okay, this does have to do with the coronavirus. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are tired of the coronavirus, they want it to go away, but there's a distinction that I'd like to make to you because I'm seeing it misinterpreted a lot in the real estate market. So we have a tendency to compare the numbers with the previous month, which is totally fine, we need to do that. We also have the tendency to compare the numbers with last year. Well, what happened last year, right? It was totally screwed up, like it wasn't normal. So let's take a look at this chart real quick. I need to explain something to you. So what this is gonna look like is a bunch of mountains, right? Okay, so every single one of these peaks is representing the time of the year when the most amount of listings came on the market. And it's gonna be showing you all the way back to 2016. So on the far left, we have 2016, that mountain, let's call it Mount Rainier. And then 2017, let's call that Mount Hood, and so on and so forth. So let's look at mountain number five. Does anybody see the difference? Mountain number five is a little bit different looking, right? It's a little squatty <laughs> and it's a little skewed to the right. And there's a signature dip there, okay? Remember, this is the amount of new listings. That little dip was right when lockdowns happened, before 2020, so 2016, 17, 18, and 19. You can tell all those mountains look the same. And every year what happens is in January, we start up the path of new listings and we peak usually around June or July. And so we're getting back to normal. But before that happens, research has shown that people are making more moves than ever. And what's gonna happen this year, and this is my prediction, my prediction is gonna take a while because we're not gonna talk about it next month. But I feel like there'll be more transactions that happen. There'll be more people that list their homes that do not wait until the peak uh, the peak is uh, that April, May, June, July. I feel like it's going to happen a little bit before that. And so, but that mountain's going to start to look a lot like the previous ones. But the point being 2019 and before real estate, very cyclical, you know, up and down for the spring and summer down in the fall. This is totally normal. These numbers are playing out this year as well, but that, that fifth mountain, totally different, right? The COVID mountain. What this means for you is we're gonna have a normal real estate year. We expect more people to list. Uh, we expect more people to actually buy than previous years. That's the only difference. So let's talk about, not the historics, let's talk about the now. And let's get into those numbers I was talking about and let's get into that prediction. I'm gonna to show to you right now how the actual activity for everything is actually down, but it is because it's compared to last month and not previous years. All right, so let's talk about the new listings residential that came on the market in Thurston County. And as you can see on this chart, it's down 28%. That's to be expected. Again, it's like every other year and it's just most people don't list their homes in December. It's totally fine. So we had 359 new listings, but uh, the important thing is, is we're still 11% more than last year. So people are listing their homes even now. All right, so let's talk about the active listings. This is the amount of, this is a moment in time, how many homes were on the market on the first of the month. And what you can see is that number's down as well. It is down 33%, okay? Since last month, there were 288, now there's 193. But the thing to keep in mind is, is there's still more than there was last year. It is still up 18%. It's a good thing. All right, so when you have new listings and you have less active, you're gonna have less pending. So these are the people that wrote a contract, it's been accepted, and now they're waiting to close on their new home. So that is down 23% from last month. But again, not to worry, because it's still up 22% over last year. More transactions happening this year. Real estate market is really strong. And the last number of my prediction is the sold. The amount of people that moved into new houses, they closed escrow and all that good stuff. So that number went from 598 to 540, so we're down about 10% which of course this is less of a drop because this is the last part of the process, okay? This takes some time to play out. So of course there's gonna be less of a drop here. They're still 15% higher than last year. All right, so the months of supply dropped a little bit. That is a direct reflection on less active and less new inventory. And so you'll see that went from uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, couple of months to 0.5. And again, we're talking historically, if it's a neutral market, it's not even, it's, it's, we're less than one right now. 
okay it's if it's 0.5 now it's in a neutral market it is literally five months so it's 5.0 and so it just shows you that we again continue to suffer from lack of inventory super exciting news the days on the market finally went up by one day <laughs> so it's super fast people uh, the the houses are selling in less than a week, usually five days, now it's six. So everybody always asks how far above asking price is the average home selling for? And right now it is 104%, which means it's 4% above. So a $500,000 home is selling for like 520. That's the average. And that's the breakdown for this month is 104%. It is actually down by 0.1. It was 104.1 last month. So, uh, you know, not as many people making big, big offers. Um, it'll hover around this for a while. Um, still really good if you're a seller. All right, so the best number, especially if you own a house already, uh, but if you're looking to buy, these are the numbers you should actually look at because this could happen again for the next year. It is, what did the home prices do for the average home in Thurston County? All right, so I think I told you a couple months ago we had a little dip and that dip has been corrected, okay? So we went from 504,000 to 508,000, and that's up from 426,000 uh, this time last year. It's a 17% increase, which I think I've told you before, the average 30-year rolling is about four to 5%. 17 is a lot better if you own a house. Uh, so congratulations, you just gained 81,000, $986 in equity in the last year. So prediction for this next month, and I'm pretty sure this will happen, I know it will happen, is those numbers I talked about, one more month, one more month of decline until we get to about February 1st, which is January's numbers, we're gonna continue to see this same trend. All right, so here's the thing. If you have a property you're thinking of selling, be cognizant of what you're gonna do, like as far as where you're going, okay? So if you're going to a different part of the country, are you moving up? or are you moving down, meaning in price, right? Because these prices will continue to go up. What that means for you is if you were gonna sell and you are gonna move down, not really a huge rush. If you were gonna move up, you wanna go chase that property because you're going up in price, you wanna go chase that property now that's gonna go up even higher than what you own because you're gonna be gaining value on your existing property at the same time, but that house that you're chasing is gonna be outpacing what this one is losing. So I'll give you a quick example. If you were selling a $500,000 home, but you wanted to move to one that was $700,000, that $700,000 house is gaining more value faster than your $500,000 home. So in that scenario, in this market, you'd be better off selling real quick and moving to that property as long as you didn't have to over negotiate on the thing and spend too much money on top of the price to get it. So it is very confusing. If you want some help, and you need me to help you break down a situation, be more than happy to do that. And if you are buying a property, what you'll see is that this year there will be more listings, again, starting in about January. I think it's gonna happen earlier this year. Uh, more listings, more listings, more listings. You're gonna have more opportunity. However, the interest rate's gonna start climbing up on you. So if you are a buyer that is really close to trying to buy a home for exactly what you qualify for, you qualify for 500,000, you wanna buy a home for 500,000, as that interest rate climbs on you, it's gonna be more difficult because you may no longer qualify. So you'll wanna to talk to your lender, make sure you're not maxed out in that sense, uh, but you're gonna to want to still try to purchase. It will get a little bit easier in the spring because there'll be more inventory though for you. Hopefully the rates don't go up too much. So that's a stone cold wrap on this month's market update. Join me next month. But do me a favor, if you're a buyer, seller, or if, even if you're another realtor and you need some help interpreting this market, feel free to reach out to me.